Hi guys, welcome to Techie Ocean. In this tutorial, we'll see how to implement change detection in Angular. So let's begin. So in this tutorial, we'll just have three components. There will be a hosting component named as app component. It will be an empty component. Inside that app component, we will have a parent component, which will just have two models which we have to pass to the child. And third will be the child component where the change detection will be implemented. Now the whole reason for implementing this is that whenever we pass the models to the child component, the child component should automatically know what are the changes done to the models. That is, if something changes in the parent, the child should know it. That's the reason we implement the on changes class on the child component. So let's see here we are just going to pass the models to the child component. We'll change the models in the parent component and the child component will automatically know the changes. That's what we have to see. So let's see the code. Now let's see the code. We have the app dot component. As I said, it's just a hosting component here. The app dot component is just a hosting component. This is completely empty. And in the HTML, we are just hosting the parent component. Parent on changes. This component. Now in the parent component class, we just have two models. One is the object of type class car. We'll just come here. We have a class name as car and we just have a property named as name. That's it. So we just have an object of type car and we have a simple model named as car type. So we will, our intention is just that we are going to change these values in these two variables and we are going to pass this through the input variable in the child component. And whenever we change these values in the parent component, the child component should come to know the changes. That is, it should detect the changes. That's what the reason to implement this. So we just have these two variables. One is object and one is the variable. We are using this in the HTML also here. The HTML will just have a text box where we are binding the ng model car type. And second text box will be the car name. Here we are just binding car dot name that is this object dot name property and this is simple car type this dot name so here one side we are passing the object property second side we are just passing the simple model and here after that we are hosting the child component here this is the child component child on changes. Now here, this child component has again two input properties, car and car type. And we are passing this car object here and the car type object here and the car type here. So what will happen whenever we are changing this here in the parent component, the child component will know. So let's go to the child component. This is the child component. We just have to focus on these two things. This object. So this has two input properties car and car type. This is also of type car. This we are getting from the parent component. Now this child component implements the on changes class. Okay. This on changes class and simple changes class we have to inherit from the Angular code. Now, this child component implements the on changes class. For implementing the on changes class, we just have to implement the method on changes, ng on changes. So, what happens is that whenever these input properties are changed, the ng on changes method is automatically fired and we can loop through all the changes. So in this ng on changes method, 
we just have an object of type simple changes which we have already seen now what happened in the parent component whenever we are passing these models and if we are changing this text box that is if we are changing the value of this text box of model car type and we are passing the same object here in the input type this component that is the child component will automatically know that this has changed through this method ng on changes that's it and that's what we have to see what we are doing after that in ng on changes we are looping through all the properties in this component that right now the properties are these two so we will look through all these properties and we will see what is the current value and what is the previous value we just have a lock changes array in which we are going to push these changes just for display purpose and we are displaying it in the html you can see here whenever the car name is typed in the text box in the parent component we are going to display it here in the child component similarly in the lock changes we are going to display the changes here for the car type here we are going to have a for loop on the lock changes so whatever changes are done through this car and car type this will be displayed here so let's see this so you can see here in the browser this part is of the parent component you have two text boxes that's it see here two text boxes and below that we are hosting the child component this child on changes where we are passing these two models as the input parameter and in the child component we just are displaying the car name and we are going to have a for loop on this lock changes whatever changes that is here there so if i change the car type from suv to sedan now you can see here whenever i change the car type here the child component automatically knows that something has changed and the ng on changes method is fired automatically you can see here i change the suv to sedan you can see here again i'm writing sedan okay the current value the previous value current value previous value now you will see here that the current value of the object or the ng model variable is automatically changing it is detecting the changes happening to the car type but if i change something to the property of this object car if i write for s it is changing here because i am just displaying it into the html but that change is not reflecting in the log in the ng on changes method it's not reflecting here you can see it is still for see but if i change here that is detecting in short the change detection can be recognized for the ng model but it is not recognized for the properties of the object now this is the property of the object car so whenever i am changing this i am displaying it here but in the ng on changes method this is not detected it is still forward you can see here i am just displaying this car name here but whenever i am doing the for loop on this lock changes which is happening on this ng on changes method this, here it is not detected so in this way by implementing the on changes class and implementing this ng on changes method you can easily identify the changes done to the input parameters or the input objects which we are passing through the parent component here 
and whenever we change it here the child automatically comes to know so in this way when there is scenario in which you have certain text boxes in parent component and you have a child component and if something changes with the parent the child should also detect the changes in that cases or that scenario this kind this functionality can be used so that's it guys thanks for watching kindly subscribe like or share